yeah, I like it. Uh, you know, the branches, the foreign branches, foreign to the trunk, um, the color of the ground covered with all the dry, dry leaves. Um, I think it's a good place to paint. Okay, we found ourselves a spot and uh, we set up and uh, we're going to start doing some painting. Um, yeah, you can see here it's a very overcast kind of day. Um, the one good thing about the being overcast is that the lighting is not going to change much over the course of a couple hours. Uh, so don't have to worry about the shadows shifting or whatever. Um, things kind of tend to flatten out because of all the even lighting. but. Uh, but I don't know, there's still some interesting shapes in here. There's still a lot of leaves left over from the fall. And um, I really like these, uh, I like the houses in the distance. They kind of are, are ghosted by the, the strong shapes of the trees here. So yeah, that's my focus for the painting. So this is my setup. I am testing out a new French box easel. Um, I will talk about it later because I uh, I have made some changes on it and put a, a two strap at the back so I can carry it like a knapsack and um, and I changed the interior design so um, once I tried it out and I might talk about it next time.
I'm going to have a severely limited palette because I don't need any blue in this scene, really. It's mostly gray and orange and ochre.
Allora, spicca. Okay, three. Yeah, it's kind of like a very great day, and um, what I'm trying to do is to bring some light to it. Um, I'm not really care about, you know, exactly how the scenes look. Um, I'm more happy to get that feeling, um, the spirit um, on canvas. And uh, uh, I hope I tackle that one all right today. That's great. It's beautiful. Thank you.